All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly make adjustments in areas that we have not included uh, color adjust. Um, so first thing we we'll want to do is to open up our uh, template. So I'm doing this in Photoshop. Um, I'll do a similar one in Photoshop Elements here in the future. So this one we're going to use the uh, Gentleman's Club 3-Up design. The first thing I want to do is, is for this design, let's say that I wanted to, since we're coming up on July 4th, wanted to make a red, white, and blue uh, theme. So what we'll do is, you know, we'd come in, we'd start to do our colors. Maybe we'd do this as our blue. And then um, maybe we wanted to make these stripes red. So what we can do here is, is um, we're going to actually minimize and we're going to hide a bunch of layers here. So we, we're not going to work with any of these layers here. We're just going to work with the background overlay. You can see if I turn this on and off, the colors come and go. That's kind of a key thing to note, as what we're going to do is we're going to hold the control button. We're going to click right on the thumbnail of the background JPEG. And that's going to actually build us a mask. But we've got a lot of extra stuff that we don't want down here at the bottom. We're not going to color adjust on this. So what I'm going to do is select my marquee tool by hitting M, or coming over here and clicking. And then I'm going to hold down the Alt key, which makes it subtract what I select. And we're going to remove that. And next, I'm going to come right here at the background. I'm going to come up to my Hue Saturation, which I think we can also add by going to Layer, and a New Adjustment Layer, and then go to Hue Sat. And the key here is going to be that we're going to use colorize. By doing colorize, it'll allow us to color the actual gray and white. So as you can see, and as we start to saturate, it's going to bring in that color for us. We can darken, we can lighten. That, that will let us do what we need to. The trick that we did with the uh, control click on the background gave us this nice layer mask. So if I disable this and turn our color on, you'll see that everything's all red. When I enable this, it masks it off. So hopefully this will help you. Um, you can do this just about anywhere. Um, you can play inside the layer masks by uh, clicking on the actual layer mask and then using uh, black, white, or a uh, variation of gray for the amount of opacity for where you mask off.